welcome back. In the previous class, we have discussed about separation techniques of mixture, where we see um, how mixtures are being separated. So today we're going to um, have a discussion on state of matter. In our previous understanding or in a junior uh, school level. We've told that matter is empty that has mass, weight, and occupied space. But it is wrong for us to make use of mass and weight because these two, two, uh, those two words are not um, are not the same. For some people, interuse, interchange, uh, interuse, intertwine those words. So today we're going to see definition on matter. Now, if I could ask you, students. How many states of matter we have? Every one of you will start shouting. We have three states of matter. But this world, things has expanded. Things has gone beyond that. And things has gone beyond the three states of matter. Things have, things have gone beyond the three states of matter. We have up to seven states of matter. But because of this course, because on the, on the course of this study, we're going to base on the four states of matter. What do I say? for state of matter now before we go to the first state of matter let's define matter let's define matter okay let's define matter what is matter who can define matter matter for us definition of matter remember we say we we'll talk about a state of the matter about uh, the forms of matter i told you we have a solid liquid gas and the plasma so who can define matter okay let's before without wasting much time say matter is anything that are uh, that possess mass that possess what mass and occupy space that possess mass and occupy space or we can say matter is any substance that has mass and occupy space it has mass and occupy space. Now, matter exists in four physical states. Matter, matter exists in four physical states. This physical state, we're going to discuss them. We have the solid, we have the liquid, we have the gas, and we have the plasma state. Matter has mass and occupy space. Note, matter has mass and occupy space space and these are um these are the uh the states or the stage of matter now look at this diagram carefully look at this diagram carefully now we have the solid state follow me the way i i, I explained it now we have the solid state now the solid state we Solid state can change to the liquid state. Now, changing of the solid state to liquid state is known as the melting. From the liquid state, when a solid change to liquid, is known as melting. Now, from liquid state to a gaseous state, is known as what? Vaporization. It's known as what? Vaporization. Now, for a gas to a plasma, is known as ionization. It's known as ionization. Now, all this reaction, all this reaction uh, can be reversible. All this reaction can be reversible. Now, when I have um, convert my gas to um, plasma through um, ionization, now my plasma here, can be converted back to my gas through the ionization. What do I call it? The ionization. Now my gas can be converted back to my liquid through condensation. Through condensation. And my liquid can be converted to my solid through vaporization, freezing. Now, Remember, uh, when we talk about uh, what we were, uh, discussing the topic on separation techniques, I told you that some liquid that can be converted can be can change directly into 
gas without going through the liquid state. Now, look at what we have here. Now, from solid here to gaseous state is known as what? The sublimation. The solid state to the gaseous state is known as the sublimation. Now, from the, yes, from the gaseous state. Now, from the gaseous state down to the solid state is known as deposition. It's known as what? Deposition. So, these are the stages that are uh, uh, the state of a uh, of matter. The state of matter. So, now, um, I'm going to um, draw more or lay more emphasis. I'm going to um, put more stress on this plasma. So, let's take them one after the other. So, at the course of the study, I will try to give you the, 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 the characteristics, the characteristics of a solid and also the characteristics of a liquid, gas, and also the plasma. Now, when we talk about the solid, the solid state, the solid states now these tiny particles in solid are packed very closely underline this word observe this word are packed very closely together hence they cannot move about they cannot move about so solid are packed closely solid are packed closely they cannot move together. The molecules of solid, the particles of a solid, they are closely packed together. Now, the presence of forces of attraction among the tiny particles of solid make them hmm? the presence of what? The presence of of what? Force. The presence of force. The presence of force. Uh, the presence of force force of force of attraction force of attraction present of force of attraction among the tiny tiny particle of what is solid made them to be very what very close uh very closely packed together see these are the words that you need to put members in. And allowing only vibration among them instead of moving about. That is, when their molecules are closely packed together, they are not allowed to move freely. As a result of that, they vibrate at a fixed point. They vibrate at what? A fixed point. So, uh, assuming I have uh, a container, and the molecules here so let me just have this a uh, little diagram of a solid look at the solid their molecules are tightly packed together the molecules are tightly packed together so uh, these are molecules or particles of a solid particle of a solid they are tightly packed together no the molecules are not allowed the particles are not allowed to move they are hold strongly by a strong force known as covalent force they are hold tightly together by a strong force known as covalent force and let's talk about the characteristics of solid now, remember earlier on I told you, as I'm talking about them, I also draw out their characteristics. Now, what we do about the characteristics of a solid? I just I was, just, I was telling you, as I'm teaching, you closely look at the underlined word. Now, let's from there, let's draw out the characteristics. Now, one of the characteristics of a solid, their particles are closely packed together. Mm? Their particles, 
their particles their particles um, okay hold on their particles their particles are what closely packed together the particles are closely packed together now we can also talk, uh, um, talk about their characteristics as um, they they take the shape the shape uh, okay no uh, we talk about taking the shape of the container we talk about liquid now the one characteristic talk about they, they vibrate at a fixed point thank you they vibrate at a 